What's going on ladies and gentlemen? Welcome back to another Copart walk around, last one of the week, which means, what is today, Saturday? Yeah, Saturday. I should know this by heart by now, but I don't. Um, I want to start out by saying thank you to all of you for joining me. Thank you to my brother for being out here at TJ's Auto. Thank you to Copart for letting us do this. I certainly appreciate all of you. Now let's jump into this because number one on my list is a Copart dealer services car known as CDS. You don't always see them write CDS on the windshield like they do here. Sometimes it's just a C, but that is Copart dealer services. And sometimes you can get some really good deals. That's where I got my F250 uh, 7.3 turbo diesel was from CDS out here at Copart, which means my, uh, my, my particular diesel has a rebuilt title from a long time ago when it was in a flood way, way back in the day. But a lot of these cars come out here as clean titles. A lot of them are repossessions or whatever, and they end up here. And that's the case of my truck. It was a repo. They usually send these things off to auction to be sold, and then they sue the person that purchased the vehicle for the remaining balance over what the customer originally paid um, on the note, and then after what they got from the, uh, the auction. So this is a 2013 Ford Escape, and it is a dealer services car. I'm not sure... It's got some circles on it here where they're showing dents. I don't know if this is Copart doing this. I actually think it is. I think Copart, this is a very recent pickup out here. Um, so Copart may be starting to highlight damage so that you can see it better in the pictures. I don't want to say that that is the case. I don't know. But that's the first time I've ever seen Copart um, highlight damage like that. That is actually really, really cool. So looking around the rest of it, it looks fine. The back tires look pretty good. The front tires are, they're gone. You need to replace those front tires. I think this thing had a buy it now on it too. Let's go ahead and fire this up. I really like that Copart. I really do. Because you can see it's the same writing with the mileage, same writing up here, and it's the same writing and same marker right there as well. Oh, we got a couple buyers guides in here. They're, uh, they're not messing around on this one. Let's, let's do the sniff test. Yeah, well, it's it's not it's not good, but it's not bad either. It's an unozo machine would take care of this. Oh. No, man. First car of the day, you're not going to do me like that. You are. You are, you dirty, rotten. <clears throat> uh, oh, well. Boy, oh, this airbag looks like a... <laughs> Whoo. It's pretty dirty. It needs a good cleaning, but I mean, considering it's it's a 13, it's not a newer car. It's in pretty good condition. These back tires are really good. Front tires are real good cleaning. I mean, a thorough scrubbing. And uh, I think she'd be all right. What do you think? I'm just, oh, this is electronic. Eco Boost. I'm not a big fan of the Ford Escape. It's just not my cup of tea. Now, let's take a peek under the... Uh, what do you guys call this, a bonnet? I mean, in America, we call it a hood, but I think they call it a bonnet. Let's take a peek here. Check the oil. Ugh, let's see how she looks. Well, she is very, well, it's got, it's about, well, it's pretty dang low, look at that. That's yeah, pretty low on oil. That's concerning. It's always a good idea to come out here and check these cars in person, you know what I mean? It's just smart little turbo engine what's the miles on this 135,000 it's full of coolant so that's good it's got oil but it's low take a peek underneath this could be a good deal for somebody there's no leaks underneath none so since it's low on oil that means one thing she's burning it and that's uh that's pretty normal for an older car that's nothing that i'd be too overly concerned about what the, what just happened there? Ford happened. Ford happened. No, I happened. There we go. Now she's good to go. There we go. This is not a bad looking little SUV, man. I mean, it's like I said, it's not my cup of tea, but I would absolutely drive it. You know, if the price is right, I'd have no issues driving this thing at all. Here we have a 2015 Nissan Altima. Now maybe I've missed something, but it's listed as a vandalism. And so far, unless the other side is totally tore up, I don't see any vandalism. Uh, front tires could probably use replaced. The back tires look decent, at least on this side. The back end looks good. So this side's got to be trashed, right? No. 
it's not what okay that back tire looks good the other back tire looks good what is wrong with this car i don't understand front tires are practically bald so it definitely needs front tires what is going on i don't see any any damage why what what this is listed as a vandalism that wheel is turned out to the right this wheel is turned out to the right as well huh well let's take a peek at the interior maybe the seats are ripped up or the dash panel is smashed 123,000 miles no no ripped up seats no ripped up dash maybe there's something in the trunk that we need to know about I don't I don't see anything wrong with this car steel rain barbecue let's pop the trunk maybe there's something in the trunk that is the cause of this ah now we're getting somewhere there's a body back here oh my god whoa i did not expect to find that okay i don't even know if i can show this on video at this point um yeah i'm totally screwing with you ain't nothing back here empty case of beer <laughs> spare tire there's there's nothing wrong with this car i i say that but i mean obviously it was sent here for a reason right very confusing very confusing so nothing under the hood looks like it's been vandalized either this is crazy it's full of coolant you know what it's fired up make sure this hood is secured yeah, maybe it's got a rod knock or something like that maybe somebody poured something into the uh into the engine oh, it's keyless all right push the start hey 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 fat albert every day full tank of gas low tire pressure but i don't see any uh check engine light wow how about that air conditioning is cold we got some pills down here it's probably just ibuprofen or something yeah, full tank of gas and everything, man. Let's put it in uh, reverse. Yep, goes backward. Let's put it in drive. And it moves forward. What more do you want? Does the radio work? Oh, is this the vandalism? Is this poop? Is that poop? I don't know what that is. Yeah, I don't know. What is that? <laughs> huh. I ain't touching it. What's well, giving me second thoughts about me even sitting in this dang thing? Good lord. I don't know. Surely that's not crap. <laughs> I hope that's not crap. <laughs> uh this looks like a good car though honestly probably needs a real 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 good cleaning but other than that this looks like a solid ride man next we have a 93 toyota pickup truck that from the outside anyway it looks like it's in pretty dang good condition it says it's a no start that doesn't mean that it doesn't crank it means it doesn't start who knows why it could but but it'd be interesting to crank it over and see if it at least cranks over 197,000 miles it's got a camper shell a tad bit of rust down here nothing major at all this thing actually looks pretty good got a heck of a tow hitch there for this little bitty truck man yeah she looks good needs a good paint job oh those uh those are broken it's been well used but it remains to be in good shape Not a bad looking camper either. These are great little trucks. Oh, it's a stick shift too. Look, the seat's in good condition. Wow. Somebody took good care of this. The dashboard is clean. It even smells decent. 
Well, I'm sure we all know that it's not going to start. Look at this. Those dang spiders. You see, they fly in on these. Like, these, these giant webs fly all over the place. And then they just... Look, they're everywhere. That's another one. And, and so is that. They just fly around and then they land on crap. And the spiders just... You end up with cars full of spiders. Oh, man. The clutch feels decent. Oh, first, second. Hmm, <clears throat> first, second. First, second. Third feels like it's not engaging. Neither does fourth. Fifth. Yeah, it feels like we're having an issue with... There's reverse. Third gear. I don't know. It doesn't feel like third gear is engaging at all. And fourth feels about the same. Let's try it out. I'm sure it's dead. Oh! Oh, we have lights! We have lights. Clutch in. Oh, man, it cranks. I mean, that's something, right? Shows that it's got fuel. It's got, looks like almost three quarters of a tank. But I'll tell you what I don't hear. I don't hear a fuel pump. No, I don't hear a fuel pump at all. All right. Let's, uh, Let's pop the hood. I'm thinking this is one of those trucks that just sat for a long time or it broke down and it just never got fixed. Let's see if we can find the hood release here. There she is. I'm thinking fuel related. That's what I'm thinking. Or, I mean, it could be someone pulled the fuel relay out of here. Hard to say. Let's hold this hood up. That's that's the washer fluid. They put a radiator cap on the washer. Okay. All right. No coolant. It's not even damp. So that's something to consider. Boy, that's a that's a well-used engine, isn't it? Jeez, Louise. Very simple motor, though. Very simple. Yeah, no coolant. Whatever this is is disconnected. It really does sound to me like it is a uh, a lack of fuel. That's the issue. Obviously, we can't sit here and and work on this thing or anything like that. They don't allow you to uh, come out here and basically take things apart, try to fix it. But I mean, it could be a blown fuse under here. It could be a bad relay. It could be a bad fuel pump. It's really hard to say. But the fact that it cranks over, man, that's positive. Check the uh, check the oil real quick. It's clean. Almost too clean. Very clean oil. Hmm. And I'll bet I'll bet we I bet this is one that we could have running in like an evening. You know what I mean? Whether it's spraying some carb cleaner down it or something. It could be a bad mass airflow sensor. Could it be lack of spark? Could be a million things, but the fact is, it's a stick shift, so the transmission is, well, hopefully good. We know first, second, fourth, uh, no, first, second, fifth, and reverse appear to engage. So, hey, what do you think of the old Toyota, man? Man, I think it's a good-looking truck. I really do. I really do. Comment below. Tell me what you think. All right, and speaking of small imported trucks, there's a 94 Mazda B2300. Gorgeous little truck. This is a donation. Little bitty rims with excellent tread on the little bitty tires. 190,668 miles on the clock. This, as I said, is a donation. What a cute little truck. I'm not a big fan of the camper shell. And it looks like we got a, a wheelchair 
uh, thing on the back and you got the triple a triple a plus all over the back bumper there so that gives you an idea you know this was a this was an older person's vehicle again why it was donated it's hard to say that's open to speculation but you got the old crank windows basically this is a ford ranger another stick shift huh all right it it smells pretty bad yeah that's that smells pretty rough oh she's gonna be dead of course dang it man uh first gear second gear third gear fourth gear fifth gear reverse it goes into all gears just fine yeah see the other one was having an issue going into gear it is listed as a run and drive you can get a an aftermarket sony tape deck how about that uh, 190,000 on the clock. It says next service date 1028 of 19 or 192 or 193,000 miles. So 193223. So this was serviced at 190223. So it was driven 400 miles with uh Penn State 530. 400 miles. It got an oil change and 400 miles later it was sitting here. I wonder what happened. I wonder what this is for. Some, like, speaker wire running. Huh. That could be uh, some kind of an electric fan or something. I don't know. It's got a cracked windshield. we got a crack in the grill here. Let's see if we can find the hood release. Oh, yeah, the good old Ford 2.3. It's a good motor. It really is. It's a good motor. I've, I've uh, broken timing belts on many of these. And was able to just throw another time belt on and down the road you go. Yeah, this is this is going to be a good one, man. This is. Let's check, let's check out the other side here. It's a good looking truck. Whoa, wait a minute. Holy crap. Oh, man. Uh, <laughs> uh, <laughs> oh, we missed that. <laughs> oh, we didn't. I did. <laughs> good God. Wow. Okay, so it got a tad bit of the cab here. That's not a big deal. Yeah, she needs a bed. She needs a bed. I, I'm, I'm wondering if there's any damage to this rear axle. This rear axle could definitely be bent from something like this. That's hard to say. Or if you're lucky. If you're really lucky. And, and honestly, I don't see how because the damage is low from here all the way across. So... Either this rear end has been replaced from this accident, but they didn't replace the bed, or they got real lucky. Or it's still damaged and they just threw a tire on it because that's a fairly new tire with a new weight. I wonder if this thing was in an accident that was this guy's fault. That may be why it's donated. This might explain the whole thing. If this guy ran through a red light accidentally, and got t-boned it was his fault he didn't have full coverage insurance truck is trashed you know that right that right there is a total loss put a tire on it put a rim on it donate it and hope for the best who knows again whoa i'm not walking through that spider web no thank you anyway comment below what do you think of the old b2300 i, I think you might get lucky on this maybe able to just slap a bet on it and have your son take that take that wheelchair carry thing off of there throw a bed on it this is a nice little truck man it really is this is a very clean little truck i'm not gonna lie this one's interesting a 2012 ford econoline van this is the conversion explorer van company uh from warsaw indiana and this is nice the tires are in great shape the rims look good 127,000 miles so not that much on the miles the rear tires here look good why would someone donate this triple a premier member that's you know you see that and that doesn't always mean it's an older person but generally it's an older person i'm a triple a premier member as well but i don't put stickers on my car this thing is clean i mean it is nice good yeah the tires all the way around great shape paints great body's great let's see oh wow the interior is pristine are you kidding me Look at this.
it doesn't look like anybody has ever farted in this seat ever <laughs> wow man oh she's nice she's nice look at that i love the accents you got these beautiful lights up here look at that oh well something happened back there someone dropped the rear air conditioning thing with the speakers in it so i don't know what's going on there but something something definitely happened back there it's listed as a run and drive what do you think's going on back here You've got pillows it smells good what is this does that light up or something i mean it looks like it does more than just sit there she's clean she's real clean but but this is going to have what the 5.4 in it let's see yeah 5.4 the 5.4 hey but you know what the coolant looks exceptionally clean pro air installed by at 158,169 miles that's definitely incorrect <laughs> okay let's uh something like this i would almost bet it's going to either have engine trouble or it's going to have a transmission problem and the oil looks beautiful golden golden oil so we'll fire it up and see if we got to check engine light or see if the engine's making any noise and that'll give us an idea of what's going on there transmission let's check that as well this thing looks like someone took really good care of it. It really does. Transmission fluid isn't bright pink, but it still looks pretty good. Wow. You never know with these donations. That's part of why I really enjoy them. You just never know what you're going to get. Even the brake fluid's fairly clean. So somebody with the miles it's got on it, somebody has definitely kept this thing maintained. Oh, that glossy finish, man. This is just, it's beautiful. I should buy this van. You know what I should do? I should start a GoFundMe. You guys donate to the cause. I'll buy the van, and then I'll travel around the country and do meet and greets with everybody. That'd actually be fun. Okay, here we go. Oh, man. Wow. No check engine light. Oil change required. Okay. Yeah, there's no check engine light. Let me make sure the check engine light works. Sometimes you get suckered into these. The check engine light's been on so long that it burned out. and uh, Or it's been altered. Oh, the check engine light's right there. Wow. E-brake is on. Turn that off. There we go. Oil change required. We know, we know. The oil change is good. It looks fine. Matthews Ford in Broken Arrow, Oklahoma. Mileage 130.224. And date 722 of 19. So... This thing just had an oil change like 100 miles ago, and here it is. Cold air conditioning. You got that expensive compass to help you figure out where you're going. Lights. Oh, she's clean, guys. Let's put her in gear. Right into gear. You got your little backup camera right there. That's kind of cool. Yeah, right into drive. And right into reverse. Does the important window work? See, this is not something I would buy to resell. You know what I mean? This is, you'd be hard pressed to sell this. But dang, this is nice. And you even got a box of Kleenex right there. Wait, what is this? 
This is from a service department. Uh-oh. Yeah, claim check. A couple of them. So, it's been to service for something. What was it for? And then I guess they decided to just let it go, man. That's weird. With no check engine lights and I don't see anything wrong with it, it really does make you wonder, like, why is this thing sitting here right now? Man, it... It really does go into gear just fine, and it runs perfect. She sounds great. We're getting close to the end. We got an 07 Volvo XC90, another donation. Donations are fun. You don't know what you're going to get. Yokohama tires on the front look good. Yokohama tires on the back, eh, could use some replacement. But overall, it looks pretty good. XC90, 3.2 liter. Yeah, that back tire is pretty well gone too. And this front one is all right. So a couple tires, no big deal. Body-wise, she looks great. Let's take a look at the interior. 173,488 miles. Let's do the sniff test. <laughs> that's not good. That, 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 that smells pretty, that's pretty rank. We got stuff all over the floor here. It's pretty disgusting. We got stuff spilt all over the seats. Yeah, this is uh, this is gross. That doesn't mean it's not a good car. Could be a good car, just dirty. Very, very dirty. My God, ripped up seat. The carpet's ripped and pulled out over here. We got a hole in the carpet over there. Yeah, I'm not digging it. Oh, yeah. And I'm sure the back. Oh, the headliner. Wow. Completely fallen down, stains all over the head. This thing is gross. This thing is real gross. I don't think it's gonna start, but I'll uh, I'll give it a try. No, oh, maybe. Ah, nope. uh, uh, so close. To a level that some people want to go to. Uh, turn all this off okay so the fan motor doesn't seem to know how to turn off you turn it down and it turns up <laughs> come on there we go Somebody probably messed with the okay water. the the fan control is totally screwed oh she's so close so close I'll try it one more time. It's not going to start, though. No, nah, she's done. Uh, well, I would have liked to have heard it run. Would have liked to have the opportunity to at least, you know, her the thing try to fire up. We can go ahead and pop the hood if I can find the hood release. This thing really is nasty. It just, it smells bad. It doesn't look good. The body looks great though. What a shame. Let's see if we can get this hood open here. It took longer than I'd like to admit, but I found it. It's uh, it's right here. So any of you that are fighting one of these, it's right here. Now it's got two latches. I think that one's the one that opens with the hood release, and this one is the one that opens with uh, well, with this little piece right here. That's a big look motor. My goodness. Whew. Dang. Let's check the oil. Coolant looks real good, don't it? Good looking coolant. Heck, the oil looks good too. It's clean, it's full. And the motor itself looks great. I don't see any leaks. Everything looks great. Man. It'd almost be worth giving this thing a shot. I bet this thing probably runs. I don't know if it drives great, but I bet that it runs great. Last on the list is an old Chevy 3500. Yeah, it's got the 6.5 liter, which I don't know if that's a good diesel or if that's a bad diesel. I honestly have no idea. Single cab only, 184,975 miles. It is a dually. Tires look pretty good. I'm not sure what... Uh, all this is but I'm assuming 
This is where you put your gases for a torch. That's obviously a spool. Still comes with a few tools. Hell of a bed, isn't it? I mean, it's a good work bed right here. It really is. This thing's got tons of room. Heavy duty. This looks like it's supposed to open. I don't know what this is. Y'all have to comment below and tell me what all this stuff is. We got some, uh, what is this? Gas line for your torch. Again, I know this is definitely a welding truck. Let's see what it looks like on the inside. Tires look real good. Ooh, good God, wow. And she don't smell the best. She's caked with mud and dirt and uh, it's been used. Definitely been used, but considering it's really not in that bad a condition, you know it? Let's see if we can fire this bad boy up, pop the hood, and see what she's working with. Maybe it's time to get rid of the, uh, the, the Ford. What do you think? <laughs> well, I know I'd get a lot of hate on that, wouldn't I? <laughs> oh, nothing like trading a Ford for a Chevy. That's like blasphemy. Let's wait for the glow plugs to warm up here. Any day now. There we go. Well, she definitely didn't start on the first try, did she? Let's do it again. It sounds like battery's weak, so she probably is not going to want to start. Cycle those glow plugs one more time. Says it's ready to go. All right, that's it. We're not gonna push her any further. Battery's dead. Uh, I wonder how worn out the uh, steering gear is on this one. It's pretty rough on the, uh, yeah, it's about as bad as it is on the Ford. Quite a bit of play, that's normal. Well. Take a look under here. This is going to be, uh, I guess it's 95. I don't know what year for sure, but it's missing an airbag on the passenger side. So this has to be a 95. 94 was the old square dashboard. 95 had the round dashboard, but no airbag on the passenger side. So, and in 96, they had a passenger airbag. So this has to be a 95. I think. I probably shouldn't have said that it has to be because I could be wrong. Woo! Boy, she's a dirty girl. Good lord. Yeah, she's dirty. <laughs> wow. I'll tell you what, though. It, uh... It looks like a fairly easy motor to work on. Compared to the F-250, anyway. I mean, everything is just right here. Easy to get to. How nice is that? Yeah, the Ford, if you want to get to the glow plugs or the injectors, they're all under the valve covers. And then there's this big harness built into the valve cover gasket. Like, it's, uh, she's kind of a bear to work on if you've got to get to the glow plugs or the injectors. This don't look so bad. There's just so much room to work with under here. But I bet money, this thing is probably way underpowered in comparison to the uh, 7.3. I mean, it is a 6.5 after all, so it's quite a bit smaller in displacement. There's your turbo. It's really not, it doesn't look like it's in bad shape. I wonder why it's here. This is a great little truck. I'm sure it's gonna need some work, but... Well, I shouldn't call it little, but anything now in comparison to the uh, the F-250 is little. This is, this is a small truck in comparison. Look at that one though, man. Look at that Ram 3500. But look at these tires. It looks like someone just put these tires on. And it's listed as front end damage. That's the other thing that I haven't figured out. Where's the front end damage? Is it this right here? This little dent in the bumper? Surely this thing is worth more than, uh, than a bumper. That's ridiculous. Let's see. Has it got anything leaking out from underneath it? Honestly, it doesn't. Even the oil pan is fresh got a fairly fresh oil pan on it you see that that oil pan is new somebody just put that on there it's definitely leaking something back there though that puddle is from this truck 100 percent 
it's not a bad looking truck it's really not but so many things you know it doesn't have the back doors back seats that's a negative for me a dually i don't really need a dually there it's just more stuff that you got to do to work on it more expense more labor it doesn't have a really usable bed that's a negative it's not four-wheel drive that's a negative so as far as replacing the 7.3 i don't think so not today not with this chevy and that's a wrap ladies and gentlemen we're done it's the last video of the week stay tuned we got more videos coming i appreciate all of you for watching and if you enjoyed the content please do me a favor give the video a big thumbs up don't forget to share the video on your social media platforms it really does help support the channel it's probably the number one thing you can do to help support me and support this channel comment your thoughts below i hope you enjoyed the video thank you to copart thank you to all of you for watching stay safe out there everybody i will catch you all very soon in the next one